item number. Time, what time was that tomorrow evening? Six. Six, Six to seven thirty. Item number four, the board discussion of possible action on the resolution to transfer four hundred and forty nine dollars and two cents from the class of two thousand nineteen project eight oh five activity account to the class of two thousand twenty project eight oh six activity account. What is that? That is taking the funds that was left over from the class of two thousand nineteen and transferring it into the class of two thousand twenty. Just I'll make to make a motion we approve the transfer. Second. Wilson? Yes. Kirkpatrick? Yes. Babcock? Yes. Green? Yes. Morris? Yes. Item five is board discussion of possible action on the class schedule for 2019-2020. I don't know if there's a copy of this in there, so here's... You want one to letter? Everything with today's agenda. Do what? But somehow I got over here with everything with the today's agenda. <laughs> I the just only thought it was a big one. <laughs> the differences on the class schedule is instead of starting at 8 a.m., we're starting at 8.15. Instead of getting out at 3.30, we are getting out at 3.45. It's the same amount of hours, it's just changing of times. To better accommodate for career taking the time they get back and different stuff like that. That's okay by me. Is there a motion? Motion. Second. Wilson? Yes. Kirkpatrick? Yes. Babcock? Yes. Reed? Yes. Morris? Yes. Item six, board discussion of possible action on Oklahoma Department of Career and Technology Education contract for secondary career and technology education program for the school year 2019-2020. That is just our yearly contract that we have to have in order to have FCCLA and FFA, Ag Ed, Fax classes. Just something that's going in front of the board every year for housekeeping. Motion. Motion. Wilson? Yes. Kirkpatrick? Yes. Babcock? Yes. Reed? Yes. Morris? Yes. Item number seven, board to consider and possible action to continue accepting approved concurrent enrollment post-secondary credits from Northwestern Oklahoma State University as credits towards high school graduation. That's just more of the same. Just housekeeping deal saying that we accept credits from NWSU to accept on our transcripts. I'll make a motion to approve that. Second. Wilson? Yes. Kirkpatrick? Yes. Babcock? Yes. Reed? Yes. Morris? Yes. Item eight is for discussion of possible action to repair or replace the refrigerator in the cafeteria. There are three different companies in here with bids. You should find Kincool, Modern Appliance, that's, this is just to repair, repair it, is it? No, this is to replace it. Because last month. You have to repair the uh, new condenser. Fix the refrigerator. No, this is to replace it. The whole thing. The whole thing. There's three or four bids. Okay, I misunderstood the five year compressor. That this, this is, Ken Cools is the first bid. It. It's for $3,550. It has a five year warranty on the compressor, three year on parts, and one year on labor only. So the pressure goes out with them and we just have to pay them labor. Correct. And that's usually a higher part of any bill. And then we have another quote here from Modern Appliance that has five year compressor, three year parts and labor warranty on the whole thing. So in three years if anything should go wrong, Modern Appliance is going to come out and fix it and repair it for free. If I yeah. compressor. The quote from them is it's a little bit bigger than the one from um, Ken Cool and it's four thousand fourteen dollars and ninety five cents. It's about an additional four hundred and eighty five dollars. Or they have a smaller one that's actually more expensive than the bigger one. 
My my recommendation is to go with the one from Modern Appliance because it has the three year warranty for parts and labor and also has the five year compressor. Because if we start sinking money no in, labor. do what? And no labor service. Correct. For three years. For three years. Yeah, that's, that's kind of what I was thinking. And then the third one was from Top Shores Mechanical, and it was for. They had three different ones. One was for three thousand four hundred twenty-one dollars and forty-nine cents. That had a five-year warranty on the compressor, two-year for parts and labor. The modern appliance. Are they Woodward out of Woodward? Modern appliance is at Woodward. Yes, sir. Okay. And Kenco is also Woodward. Yes, sir. And then top choices at Enid. The one I recommend going with is Modern Appliance for the $4,014.95 for the five year warranty on the compressor, three year on parts and labor. And how old are the one we're replacing is? I'm pretty sure it was bought in 07. Because it was bought before I got here. So that would put it at 12 years old. I did math faster than you did. <laughs> Oh, I just, what's uh, that? So, <coughs> if this one lasts 12 years and the other one lasts 12 years, we'll just be out to rip the rest. Well, you so, may, if you recommend the one for modern appliance, anybody else got any other well, thoughts? I'll go with that. that. I agree with modern. I can't okay. tell we could get an electrical okay. strike and wipe it out. Yeah. Okay. We sent out bids for three different companies from milk. The only one that replied back was Highland. We started off the year last year with U.S. Foods. We got into the problem where the carts came in smashed. They were coming in not in very good condition. So we switched. They were, we had some problems with sour milk. So we switched. I think like a month into school to Highland. Do what? The Highland? The Highland, yes, sir. Well, if we're, we got better product and better surface, I say let's just continue with it. So. They're both out of Enid, aren't they? <coughs> um, Highland is actually out of Chandler. Official signatures for the following individuals: A. Shane Morris, board president; B. Russell Reed, board clerk; C. Shane Wilson, deputy board deputy clerk; D. Brian Weber, interim superintendent; E. Michelle Shulak, principal; and F. Patricia Dalton, secretary. No lights out in your name. I thought you already had a rubber stamp. I do. Yes, we have to approve that every year. Has to be done every year. Huh? It has to be done every year. Oh. I'll second it. Wilson? Yeah. Kirkpatrick? Yes. Babcock? Yes. Reed? Yes. Morris? Yes. 
Item 11 is discussion of possible action on student handbook for the 2019-20 school year. There are several changes in that that still need to be made, but it's all like clerical, like making sure Mr. Kirkpatrick's in it and the dates on it. The main reason we wanted to go ahead and get that approved is because we had to add the bait uh, products to it. Um, we changed the ABC, all of that. You know, Attendance, three that. absences for an A, two absences for a B, one absence for a C for semester test. And then there was a change on the superintendent's on roll and the scholastic on roll. We we're saying on the scholastic on roll, all students had to have A's and B's instead of saying a 3.0 grade point average. And then the other change was on the school parking lot for signing where staff, visitors, and student parks and the vapes. That is the only major changes to the student handbook. What was the change on the parking lot? To make it where the students park at one end, the teachers park yeah. at another end, and the visitors park at one end. Going to mark it somehow? Or? It will get marked eventually, yes. It was supposed to get marked last year, and it didn't, so. So it's the same as last year, just not one. Well, it is, but the map last year had the visitors at the very end, so we swapped the visitors and the staff so that they'd have that open area right in front of the school. The students would be on the south end, and the yes. visitors in the middle, and then the staff on the north end. Correct. So we need to approve the, Maybe I'm the handbook no. with the change in the <laughs> Names and all that yes. with changes. Yes. Is there a motion then? Motion. Um, I second it. You made the motion. Oh. Wilson. Yeah. Or Patrick. Yes. Babcock. Yes. Reed. Yes. Morris. Yes. Item 12, excuse me, is discussion of possible action concerning fundraisers according to Appendix B. Appendix B, we have radio concession for the senior class, Frontier Radio Concert concession for the senior class, Blue and Gold fundraiser for FFA, and the 5K fund run for athletics are the current fundraiser activities that we have coming through. Now, blue and gold, they will come. Somebody will come to my house. I sure hope so. Yes, I will make sure someone I mean, comes to your guaranteed house. Guaranteed sale. <laughs> I personally saw no, no problem, see no problem with the fundraisers we got currently. I'll make the motion we approve. Same thing we did last year. So I understood on the uh, frontier was there's going to be any in it, any money at the time. So yes, but this first one, class. yes. So we'll have to prove one every time. We're hoping to get a next month. All the teachers are supposed to get the uh, friend raise request in, so we can just approve a pile up next month. accreditation determination and summer school accreditation our summer school accreditation was last week we passed with accreditation with no deficiencies very good there's a copy of anyone wants it like would like to see how many students were there we ended up having eight in the first driver's ed and we have another one going on with one <coughs> possible action to contract with free diverters for federal programs. More, more the same from last year. I'll a motion that we approve it. Second. Wilson. Yes. Kirkpatrick. Yes. 
Yes. Yes. Yes. Item 15 is discussion of possible action to adjust Brookmeyer as adjunct instructor for anatomy and physiology for the 2019-20 school year. Another housekeeping item for career tech in order to count the credits over first. I don't remember that one last from last year. It was I don't know if that's it was. I'll make the motion. Second. Wilson. Yes. Perfection. Yes. Babcock. Yes. Reed. Yes. Forrest. Yes. <coughs> Item 16 is discussion of possible action to approve or not approve reassigning Austin Bean as teacher coach for the 2019-20 school term pending emergency certification approval. This is just changing it so since he is emergency this is changing it since he is emergency certified to make it where he is able to teach. Because he has not taught and we have an alternate oh, teaching okay. license. That's basketball coach, right? Correct. Okay. Item 17 is discussion of possible action to approve or not approve adjunct teachers according to appendix C. Just another housekeeping deal where we have some teachers that are not certified in that area that are teaching subjects outside of their area. Statute 25, Section 307B1, Employment Hiring, Appointment, Promotion, Demotion, Discipline, or Resignation of Individual Salaried Officers or Employees, and B, Discussion, Applications, and Applicants for Open A Quick Position Pursuant to Oklahoma Statute 25, Section 307B1, Employment, Hiring, Appointment, Promotion, Demotion, Discipline, or Resignation of Individual Salaried Officers or Employees. Make the motion to go into executive session at 721. Should should I leave or like you guys don't seem like you used to? We've got another room. Oh okay. thank you. Do we have a second? second. We have a second. Mm -hmm. Yes. Patrick? Yes. Bad yes. 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 Discussion of possible action to hire a certified ag ed teacher. I recommend we hire David Turner as our new agriculture education instructor. I'll second that. I'll second it. Oh. Yes. Patrick? Yes. Babcock? Yes. Reed? 
Kirkpatrick? Yes. Babcock? Yes. Reed? Yes. Wallace? Yes. <coughs> Board discussion of possible action on contract for Ag Ed teacher. He will be a base salary Ag Ed with a zero year since this is his first year. He does have a master's degree, so he will be paid on the first year master's degree salary. Which is no, it's $49,409.20 is what the temporary contract would be. difference in these two contracts is is if later on in the deal there's a contract of the teacher pay of twelve hundred twenty dollars. One of these contracts has it in there, one of these do not have it in there. That's why I went ahead and told you all to hire them out. So it's not that right now. At the moment it'd be the forty eight thousand. Okay. Well that's what we need to know. Okay. I make a recommendation we hire Rhonda Harris as the head cook for this year. And here's a copy of her contract if y'all would like to see.
like the motion we heard. One second. Wilson. Yes. Kirkpatrick. Yes. Babcock. Yes. Reed. Yes. Morris. Yes. <clears throat> Item 24 is board discussion of possible action the contract on contract for the head coach. Anybody in favor of the contract? Is there a motion? Is there any discussion on it? Second. Wilson? Yes. Kirkpatrick? Yes. Babcock? Yes. Reed? Yes. Morris? Yes. <clears throat> Item 25, discussion of possible action on interim superintendent contract for Bryant Weber. Here's a copy of my contract if anyone would like to see it. Six a discussion of possible action on amended extra duty contract in the amount of eleven hundred dollars for Darcy Emil for being the fact sponsor. It was originally a thousand dollars, however, Career Tech has added extra money and it says a part time facts teacher is eleven hundred dollars instead of a thousand. Uh, so it's an increase I was of a thousand dollars. Yes. Okay. So it's coming out of Career Tech. Yes. And we are a funded program now, correct? Yes. They are funding okay. the money pulling out. That's what I meant. The money is coming out yes. of Career Tech. Yes. Okay. Uh, make so a motion motive. that we approve. Second. Wilson. Yes. Kirkpatrick. Yes. Babcock. Yes. Reed. Yes. Morris. Yes. Item 27, discussion discussion and possible action on an extra duty contract in the amount of $1,250 for Darcy Emil for being the junior high and high school assistant coach. So we have a female in there with the students also for coaching and everything else and to help our new basketball coach have Miss Emil in there as our assistant. What hours like what? She'll be every, in there second practice. hour and last hour. She has two class periods. It'll be in there for athletics. And then traveling to the games. Traveling to games. Okay, you already got off the schedule, I think. Yeah. So I uh, second. Wilson? Yes. Kirkpatrick? Yes. Babcock? Here. Yes. Reed? Yes. Morris? Yes. <laughs> Item 28 is for discussion of possible action on extra duty contracts for bus drivers for the 2019-20 school year according to Appendix B. <coughs> it's the same amount as it has been for the last couple years, just having bus drivers with their contracts so we can cover our routes. Yes. Kirkpatrick? Yes. Babcock? Yes. Green? Yes. Morris? Yes. Item 29 is board discussion of possible action on an extra duty contract for Marlo Weber, or Marlo, <laughs> Marlo Woodard Smith in the amount of $3,000 for 
for being the special ed director? Our special ed director we did have was receiving a lot greater pay for doing all the duties that Marlowe is now getting ready to take over to have to do. So to make up for her time of compensation, we were $3,000. She is not a 12-month employee. Correct. She is not a 12-month employee. So motion. Anybody second it? I'll second it. And we get it. Did they take up the read for, read for the motion? We'll also for the second. Uh, uh, Wilson. Yes. Hey Patrick. Yes. Babcock. Yes. Yeah. Three. Yes. For us. Yes. <clears throat> Item number 30 is discussion of possible action on a state mandated average teacher pay raise of $1,220. The state passed this year where they each teacher is to get an average of $1,220. After talking with other districts, instead of doing an average, they have done a straight across the board of $1,220 to all certified personnel. So as one teacher, time. one time deal, yes, sir. Isn't that, what does that do what? It, it will be averaged out monthly over their paychecks. It's a $1,220 increase of their So we have to approve it? Yearly. Does that uh, apply to the new hire? Yes, sir, it does. Yeah. Well, it, wouldn't that already be in Do what? We have to approve it right now? You do not have to approve it right now, no. You can I still don't think we should until we find out. We haven't got a report on all our finances yet to see exactly how to handle everything yet, have we? No, we have not. I mean, after talking, like I said, with several people, they strongly encourage that we do it, but it does not have to be done at this current second. They didn't probably look at our finances, did they? Or did they? No. They don't have an exact idea of our finances, no. No. I'd like to get some consulting. The applies to new, new hires doesn't make any sense to me. You just got hired. Okay, you got the pay raise. They don't know what the pay is anyway. So we'll take no action then on item 30. Item 31 is approve, amend, uh, approve amended contracts for certified personnel according to amended. There is no action to that. Okay. 32 is new business. I have none. 33 then is board to sign any documents as needed.
one more song on this one for me. Do what? One more song on this one for me. Let me see. What's the second one? Not the first one had the uh, base pay, the second one had the 1,200 on. Let me see that one. They're both the same. There's two copies of each contract. <laughs> Yes. 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 Yes.